Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you find out the hybridization of C ClF3 which is the chemical formula for chlorine trifluoride and to determine its hybridization we are first going to look at its lowest structure. So this is the lowest structure of ClF3 and you can see that chlorine atom is forming three bonds with three fluorine atoms over here and apart from that there are two lone pairs on the central atom. So whenever we are considering molecular geometry and hybridization we take into consideration all these factors which means the, the bonds that are formed and the lone pairs this atom has to know the hybridization or the molecular geometry of this given molecule. This is how the molecule looks in 3D. Uh, so to find out its hybridization here we are going to use the steric number because that is the most easiest way to find out the hybridization of any given molecule. So for finding out steric number you basically need to know the total number of electron regions around the central atom. Here the electron regions for chlorine atom will be 5 because there are 3 bonds that is 3 bonding pairs and there are 2 lone pairs of electrons. So there are um, 5 electron regions around uh, the central atom and to accommodate all these electrons it will need to form five hybridized orbitals as a result if you look at its table uh, the number five corresponds to sp3d uh, hybridization that is because uh, the chlorine atom will have five hybridized orbitals out of which one will be s orbital 3s orbital then will be a p orbitals 3p orbitals and 1d orbital and that is how it is determined so the hybridization of this particular molecule will be sp3d i hope this video helps you to understand that and for more such videos on lewis structure molecular geometry polarity of the molecules make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching